Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on agricultural land. This is a new mod map out from Design Farming Official, 416.98 megabytes download. There are no required mods with this, so nothing that will need to be downloaded or download automatically. Um, slot count is 1,597 on all three game modes, so you do start with all the same machinery and equipment. The map looks like this. Now, this map does have some custom crop textures, it does have custom icons, it does have a lot of exclamation marks around the map for points of interest. Some points are cell points. Um, most of them, I've just noticed that's a love heart there. Don't know whether that's intentional or not. Um, there are lots of points, as you can see, and there are a lot of points that aren't shown. So there's lots of plots of land that will need to be purchased for icons and um, animal dialogue boxes and pastures and things like that to be seen and shown. Field prices, as you can see, we've got a lot of fields on this. 212 fields, 241 agricultural lands, 14 forests. Average field size is size of 1.25 hectare. There are five four farms, 30 points of sale. Um, and it says animal grazing but that's pastures there are pastures around and when we get to them we will purchase them with some interesting features now it's not without its issues and it may well get an update i don't know um, there's a couple of bits here and there that i couldn't find triggers for whether they were supposed to be there or not um, the road i mean there's a little bit you can sort of see a texture there in the sunlight but it's black very like chalkboard black um I don't know whether it's supposed to be like that or whether that's the conversion over. Um, I spoke to DJ a little while ago and he said on PC it's the same, so I'm assuming that's intentional. So it looks like completely freshly laid tarmac asphalt, however you refer to it, where you are. So, as far as mods put in by the map maker, if we go into vehicles first and we scroll down to here, we've got mods and DLCs. So we have got these have been added in. Um, slightly modified. I couldn't really see anything that stood out over and above. They take all the standard stuff and the options on them seem pretty standard so I'm not quite sure why they are modified. Um, we do have an off-road vehicle there and we have a rugby field referee. Um, there is a rugby pitch on here. We don't know. Normally football pitch it's not rugby. Uh, that says, I think it says here we whistle all the time. I, th I think that's what that says. Apologies my translations over from French to English might not be perfect and some may well be paraphrased so we have got a, a, a rugby field referee skid steer loader which is an interesting one come out of there and go into our build mode under build mode we've got some sheds put in by the map maker we have got some silos the um, silo there there's i think all the farms got a farmer 500 silo this modded one 500,000 liter but it is a multi-fruit esque it takes a lot more things than the standard one does uh, there was nothing under silo extensions, containers, we've got a fuel tank, uh, nothing under tools under farmhouses, we've got that farm garage added in, and then what else do we have under factories, we've got, I think all the factories are modded, but again, I think that's to fit the map, because as far as I could tell, it might be triggers have been moved in different places, that kind of thing. As far as I could tell, they're all fairly standard, nothing over and above normal. We do have one additional plant put in, I don't think it's showing on here though. Um, which again I'll show in a little while. Uh, what else did we have under uh, settle points? Oh yeah, we had an extra debris crusher. Again, might be that triggers have been shifted. Under animals, we have got this is where we've got all the various different animal pastures. So we've got cow barns and we've got pastures around the map. Under horses, now this is curious because if you look at the icons there, that's the horse icon, that's the pig icon, or showing in here, that's sheep. There was nothing for chickens, bees, or others. But near enough, every single pen I've gone to, it's shown a pig icon. So don't be or put off or confused by that. They're not all pig pens. <laughs> Although it's showing the pig icon. Um, that's another reason I said I thought it might possibly get an update. Uh, there was nothing really under decoration, fairly standard. Um, and then landscaping, the same thing. Painting, trees, and uh, plants, all pretty much standard fare. So if we go just across the road here debris crusher just here we've got city lime factory this is a purchase point for lime just here if we go along the road a little bit further 
I do like there's a lot of nice features there's a few little bits here and there that, are, that seem a little bit clunky it's packed I mean there's lots of stuff there's a lot of bits where it's quite narrow it's quite tight there's a lot going on but I love this sort of building site thing I mean you could go immersive and simulate having JCBs and all sorts of stuff and fill that trench up or again whatever you want to do it's entirely up to you we carry on the road we come to um, on new farmer we start with this plot on farm management start from scratch you don't but we do have a sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger and our pickup is here so sleep trigger up on there wardrobe trigger just inside the building and here's our pickup the hours on the pickup are insane 3500 hours <laughs> it needs a bit of tlc probably needs a bit of a jet whoosh as well across the road we've got a farm plot i'm going to put some money in a little while i'm just going to hop onto the um center of the roundabout here i probably shouldn't be but i'm just gonna stop there because next to that we've got this plot now i'm going to miss something i'm going to miss multiple things i would imagine because like i say on this map there are so many little plots like this those that i noticed with troughs i've tried to buy up and and show but we start here and we've just walked along there took in those done this bit here so this is this one here Plot 128, whilst it doesn't have a number on it, if we purchase that for 52,000, do that and that, there we go. We get a little sheep trigger pop up, but as I said, it's showing us a pig, but it is a sheep pasture, which will hold 175 sheep just there. It's little bits like this. I, did I say there's some really nice features? Uh, support French firefighters. Should support firefighters wherever you are, but yes, because it's a French map. They are supporting their French firefighters. We're going to go down the farm. I'm going to put some money in in a minute. We do have a tractor and a, a tanker in that field, field two, or plot two. Um, but we don't own that plot yet. That is another pasture. We come down into the farm area, which is just in, as, like I say, as I've already mentioned, and you've probably already seen now, we do have custom icons pretty much for everything. So that's for taking out that's for your milk just there cows 45 and then we've got our vehicles and machinery in the various different sheds here at the main farm we do have a few tractors some have got a few hours on some haven't this is all part of the start machinery on that 1597 slot count does say contracts are available they are there's no additional crop types put in I can't remember if I mentioned that either. I'm looking at my notes and there's so much stuff on my notes. It's absolutely bonkers. Farmer 500 silo, manure heap. Come around here. Grasswork equipment. I do like these archways, walls and archways in and out of this yard. Again, really nice feature. Then we've got a New Holland just here with a flatbed. John Deere, front loader. Like I said, this one, 150 hours. I'm pretty sure that's 150 hours. Then our harvester, just over here. That's got less hours on, though. Yeah, 25, but still looking like... Could do with a bit of a wash. And then I think we've got some front loader gear just down the side here of the building. Now, across the road, we have got a little barn there that's available for purchase if we want to. We don't own this land at the start. And if we keep going just a little bit further across here, we have got another plot over here so I've come from here down onto the farm this is the start farm so you start with that that and that do we have any other fields oh yeah 83 up there we do start with that I thought I bought that that's curious Oh, that came as part of... Oh, there you go. So that plot there we bought, 128. That little plot there is part of that one up there. So that sheep farm is here. And then we've got a sheep pasture that comes with it. I couldn't work out when I was doing my prep on this. Because on my prep, I bought that farm. Came all the way around and suddenly thought, I don't remember buying that. Didn't have it in my notes anywhere. That was really weird. But that's because it comes as part of that bit of land. There you go. How curious. So this bit here, so we've walked out from the farm across this field and we're here. So that's plot 15. That's 72,888. When you buy that plot, that will give you um, another open pasture pen for 150 cows in this area just here. 
So like I say, there are, there are pastures and pens all over the place. So what I need to do now, I'm going to put some money in, and then we'll come back out and we'll take our route round. Um, we've got quite a lot to fit in, so I will uh, be just as quick as I can. Okay, we've got some money in. Now, something else I was going to point out if we go back to the map, when I said about field prices, and like I say, I, d I didn't really click on them, but um, field prices, I mean, that's 69,000, so was that. Well, what was the odds? 94,000, 38,000. Not mega expensive. We do have some forestry areas. We have a few, but then we've got this. So this is a kind of forestry verges periphery area, which takes in all of that and all up there. So we've got that one. 1,890,000. But then we've also got, if we click on that one there, takes in all of the areas, sort of built up areas. Um, that's 5,153,000. So we've got a couple of sort of separate verge ones. Those ones do take in some of the roadways and trackways as well. So as far as when it comes to landscaping or adding in decorative objects, those kind of things, it does take in, as you can see, all of these little roads and trackways. That's all kind of part of that, which helps out a little bit. Um, and then we've got that top section there at 1,299,000, which is another sort of forested area. So it's kind of split up into various sections, really. I just thought, again, that was on my notes. I thought I'd better show that. Oh, yeah, before we move on. So at the farm, I said we've got a tractor in that field there. So that's plot two. If we buy that for 79,320, do that and that. There we go. Cows in that. Um, that was... How many cows were in there? Did I not write that down? I didn't write it down. Oh, we'll head over there right now. Let's check it out. Now, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people have been asking me why have my Let's Plays stopped. <laughs> my Let's Plays haven't stopped. It's been a very busy week the last week. We had mods every single day, which we haven't had for quite a while. We had quite a few maps drop, so keeping up with mods and map tours and various different things just been a busy week one of those ones really so this is plot two again pig icon but it is the cow pasture 400 like i said we do have another tractor and we do have a tanker in there that is part of your inventory as we go around the map as well you will see at certain locations there are wheel loaders there are um forklifts those forklifts and wheel loaders not owned by you they're not under your leased vehicles or items they're kind of map vehicles we get that sometimes on maps here and there so we come along here there's a turning on our right coming up i will say some of the shadows are a little bit dark um did i write this down so this sign here if i recall <laughs> so this is click environment um waste has its own value i think that's what that means so you can bring various different items here wood chip and straw and things like that and it's basically a recycling center cell point it's interesting because the icons are different my brain is already when i'm going around i'm looking for those blue discs those blue icons so this is a cell point here so recycling center environmental place it's funny how something so simple can be so, so ingrained into you i keep getting to our locations and thinking hang on a minute where's the cell point so that's click environment. Come out from here. Up onto the road. So we've got water running up our right hand side, whether it's a large lake or a sea, I'm not entirely certain, but. So I just took the wrong turning, I did. As soon as I went straight on, I thought, hang on a minute, oh, I'm supposed to go up there. Well, I absolutely am. So. As you can see, we've got some sort of placeable areas. There's some very similar locations. Some of them are on the, the periphery, the verges, points. Dairy on our left-hand side, just there. Coming up on our right-hand side, we've got a cart track. So on this map, we've got a rugby pitch, we've got a cart track, we've got a motocross circuit. So if you fa fancy throwing a few different vehicles and things around, so there we go. We've got a cart circuit, just there, cart track. On our right hand side we've got the gas station that runs right the way through and I think because um, the signs everywhere say about supporting French firefighters we do have some fire stations they are down listed on those icons on the map with exclamation marks so we do have I think two or three fire fire stations around the map 
uh, down to our side just there again I'm just trying to keep an eye on the map and my notes um, so this one is Central Agricultural Cooperative Cell Point a lot of these are in and out uh, they haven't got a kind of drive around with two exits you come in around cell and back out of the same exit a lot of them so this is Central Agricultural Cooperative Cell Point I'm gonna head Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm always across the road here now. Be careful. Because just in here, and the icon is showing there, but you can't get to it because there's stuff here. So you have to go up into here. And it says by production plant. This is the wool processing plant for 60,000. When you've purchased that, you bring your wool here. It's a two to one ratio, so you lose half of it, but it cleans your wool. And then you can sell that wool for more money than standard wool. So if you want to, if you'd rather have clean wool, you can bring it there. A wall cleaning service. So, down here. I oh, know, don't worry, there's no traffic. It's all good. Turn in here, and then in. There's that one. In here, there's another little sort of placeables point. There's, there's bits all over, depending on what part of the map, because you can. I mean, it's expensive, certain bits, but you can buy pretty much all the map. So, vehicle shop, I love the fact this icon, I do like this in the vehicle shop, set of keys to come and collect your new vehicle, machinery, that kind of stuff, I think it's really cool. We have got our workshop trigger just inside this building, and this is the first of our industrial areas, I guess, where you have got an extra vehicle. So we've got a forklift truck in here, and there's your workshop trigger. This is also the reset point on the map, so if you need to reset anything, it will reset back here on the map so from here we're gonna go back out and actually just past where we've been but it was only way i could really work out a route so we started there at the bus stop so the roundabout where the sheep pasture was we're going to turn right here and go up here now, I'm not going to drive down there, but this is a residential area for the fishermen. So the fishermen that work on the lake, sea, whatever it is, they all live around here. And we do have a cell point. Now, this is, this is what I was saying. This is very narrow. And we've got a cell point tucked right around the back, but there's not a lot of room. Small machinery, small equipment. I'd, I'd, yeah, like I say, there's not a lot of space here. For getting in, that's the cell point just there. And it's not open at this end. We've got a cemetery there next to the church. So you'd have to either, I don't know, you'd have to back all the way in. It's just, it's the cutest one. <laughs> but this is fish sale. Where all the fishermen live. Then next to that, we've got another pasture to purchase. It's plot five. I think it's a cow pasture for 45. Cows, I think it was. So back to the map. So we've done all of these, went all the way around here, did all of that, came along here, back up here. That's that point there. Fish sale from the fishing village. This one here, plot five, do that, that, and that. There you go. Icon pops up. That's in the field there. So another little pasture there for 45 cows. Come around into here. We've got a cell point for what was it? Just here. That's the town store, sort of supermarket cell point, just there. We've got. You know I said about the gas station being through. Let's just a bit further along. Where was it? That's just here. Cereal factory to our left-hand side. I said it's kind of, it does have a almost a claustrophobic feel to it. There's, there's a lot with all the trees and stuff as well. There you go, there's the gas station. There's the back of the cart track. And then we turn up here. Now, this is a kind of another industrial zone. You can see the shipping containers because they're right by the side of the water. Come on and go day. There we go. So you've got all these shipping containers, all this stuff. Kind of like a, well, it, I mean, it is a port at the end of the day. 
Uh, where was the sword? I've lost myself completely. There we go. Sawmill to our left. It was here somewhere. That's just there. Turn in here and come around the back of here. We have got just here. This is uh, this is oh Le, Le Jardin de Fermier cell point is just there. And then next to that, we've got the first of our purchase points. Now two purchase points for purchasing, for purchasing things like seed and fertilizer and that kind of stuff. That's one of them just here. Uh, so this is the port input purchase. That's just here. From here, we shall continue. And we head out of the industrial zone, out into the countryside. We can breathe, no, missed it. Up here. Like I said, I'm going to miss pastures here and there, and apologies if I do. There's quite a lot going on. So it's sweeping up to the north of the map. Forested area up the top here. This, this cuts off very abruptly, so you have to make sure you take your turning in time. Just here. We're going to go up through here. That's going to pull out, isn't it? Of course it is. So up in here we've got a spinnery. Now this has also got another exclamation mark icon marker. And this one says community gardens. So I'm assuming all this here, it says sort of alpine little community up here. Well it says community gardens, there's not, um, there's a couple of small plots. There's not like greenhouses or anything like that. I think it's just another one of those, a place of interest shown on the map. So I go back to our map. Having done all the way around there, we came up here, up through here, we've now woven, woven, weaved our way up, woven, up to here. That's all part of that large sort of periphery area. There's the spinnery and that's, like I say, that's says community gardens. It's just another a place, a location on the map. So from here then. for a turning on my left. There we go. Oops, a little 2CV was coming out of there. I'm not sure why there's earth. No idea. So down the way a little bit and we stop here. So this is the next farm available for purchase. We'll just stop there. So we've come down here and we are here at plot 206. Do that and that, that and that. There you go. So pigs here. This is 270 pigs. We do have a farmer 500 multi-fruit silo, some shed and building space. Once you own these plots, once you've bought them, you can demolish the buildings. Now I haven't done it often, I'll say the slot count is whatever, and I'll say, but if you remove the buildings, because there are five farms with different locations around the map, all with quite a few buildings, I haven't done that, but you can get that slot count way down um, by selling various different buildings and silos and stuff. So if you didn't want to have another farm up here, if you wanted a different production or whatever you want it to be, that would be entitled to you. I'm actually going to just double check something because... Nope, and then that one just checking for pastures because as I pulled up I saw the fencing I didn't see any troughs but I thought you know what it doesn't hurt just to purchase the land and double check so there you go that's another farm and we continue along and on our left hand side we have got the rugby pitch I do like my rugby since if we are in France Allez le bleu But what's cool about this as well, there's a sign here, again, I'm going to paraphrase, 100% I'm going to paraphrase. Um, I'm, my French is not that good. Um, you basically, you park here at your, into your own risk, is what it's saying at the top. Um, bells do ring from the local churches. Um, the chickens, cockerels, are up very early in the morning. Um, there are cows in close proximity and some of them do have cow bells. Uh, there are, there's farming going on and the farmers are producing food for you people for you if you don't like all of this then you're probably in the wrong place like i said i'm paraphrasing 
<laughs> and then at the bottom it's referring to um, craftsmen, artisans, that word, <laughs> um, artisans producing goods and they're happy to share their knowledge and show you their products locally. If you're French I do apologise, um, but that 100% yeah, paraphrasing on that, that's roughly what that sign was saying. Um, now, I had a message from DJ and I was, I was literally, I was out here, I, I was just standing out here on the rugby pitch and he messaged me to ask me something, had I noticed something, and I was standing directly on it. So rugby pitch, which is really cool. Um, if we go out to the centre point here, look. That's cool. But what have you got the other side? Oh, really? It's an interesting one. So anyway, yeah, rugby pitch just here. Again, another point of interest. I don't, I don't think it's a sell point I can, that I can tell what I do like as well. But my brother coaches rugby at, at Colchester. Um, we have to start doing this. Go to the rugby, some baguettes, some cheese. <laughs> Sit at a nice table, watch the rugby. Sounds good to me. Anyway, I need to continue. Oh, sorry. So from the rugby pitch. We've got a plot to our left hand side. Now this is another farm, but it's not an animal farm. This is one that's more of a sort of I don't know, a contracting farm, but an arable rather than livestock if you wanted it to be. This is plot 184, so we've come down here, rugby pitch is there. This one 184, you can purchase that. If you purchase that, you get access to the fuel tank and you can open the sheds. There's a large shed there, the back of that large shed has got a workshop in it as well. Then we do, because there's a no entry sign just here, so we're gonna go around the back. We're gonna come back out again from there in a moment. So swing around here. As you can see to our right hand side, we have some troughs. And those troughs are because this tiny little plot here, 194, if you purchase that. There you go. Horses. 10 of, so a little horse pasture just here. Grain mill just there. And then we've got a second purchase point. So when I said about the two points on the map, this is the second one. So we come back to our map, we are here. Intercity input purchase, that's the second. And like I said, that's the central grain mill. And then just around the back of here, we've got a hay bale, sell point. Is it down as hay bale? Hay barn, which is just there. And then just here, we've got an oil mill and we've got another forklift truck just here at the oil mill. Carpathian countryside, that was one of the maps that had a lot of forklift trucks around the place. Actually, I'm going to go back the wrong way. There shouldn't be any traffic coming, we should be okay. So, there are a couple of quandary points on the map. And I don't know if they've been put in deliberately for you to do something on there if you want to, or there was supposed to be a required mod. I'm, I'm not 100% certain. But anyway, we're going to follow this down here, and we'll see the first of them. I've got to remember where I need to turn as well, but just here on the map on our left hand side we've got this little point here and it says wind farm there are two of these on the map we've got a little area here and a little point here which it looks like there's supposed to be a wind turbine on it or it's given the option to put a wind turbine on it if you want to so we've come down this track here and we're at this point here and that's all part of the periphery of the map um, but there's nothing stood on it already but if you wanted to, it, it says wind farm. It may be there was a wind farm. It's been taken down. I'm not 100% certain. But we're now looking for a turning on our left, which is going to bring us down to the first of the biogas plants. Biogas plants are referred to as... Uh, what was it? It is... I'm trying to find it on my notes. Oh, it says two biogas installations. Where are we? It has an interesting name. There we go. Methanization sites. Now, there are two of these um, methanization sites. They are BGAs. Um, and don't be... I mean, whilst they do produce methane that sort of sells, you haven't got the access to the methane. So it is a standard biogas plant. You get digested as a byproduct. Um, it's not one where you can come and collect the methane or anything like that. Just so you're aware. Even though it says methanization 
just cut through the trees again just to make the route make sense. Now this is another site that has a vehicle but this is a wheel loader and the other biogas plant has a wheel loader on it as well. Again a map vehicle not a vehicle you own but you can utilize it if you want to so we've got a wheel loader just there. Now this site is one of the ones where you can buy the plot of land on its own for 74,000 just there or you can buy the biogas plant where's our purchase point just over here for 509. Now if you've already bought the land it brings the price of the biogas plant down because that 509 takes in the land as well. So if I do that, come back out and look at it, we now own the land, we own the biogas plant, as I said, standard crop types in, digestate out, but methanization plant, biogas plant, large facility in there as well, plenty of storage space, vehicles, machinery, equipment, whatever you wish. Got to remember my route now. It is one of those maps that feels incredibly big because the, there's a lot of roadways that zigzag and meander and stuff around the map. And it's just remembering... I'm sure it was this way. Remembering my route. Now this takes us to an agricultural college, I guess. Agricultural school. And this is where I had another one of those moments of oh hang on a minute i'm not sure what's going on here um if you want to buy the agricultural school it's quite expensive but you can buy the land that everything's on and it's a couple of icons one for horses and one for pigs um but there's no actual icons the icons are on the map but the icons aren't on the ground which was a, a curiosity but we do have the school heating plant here which is a place like a biomass heating plant where you can bring various different products and sell them there are a lot of people here, as you can see, being at Agricultural College, which is that gentleman there. But if we come to the map, and I'll show you what I mean. So we've driven all the way along there, all up here, down to here, and we are now here at the Agricultural School. There we've got our school heating plant. There we've got a horse icon, but if I click on it, nothing happens. And the sheep one, so pigs, sheep I meant. But this entire school can be purchased. So I'll do that, do that and that. But you'll also see if I press that again, I still don't have access to them. And when we go and have a look, there's no icons actually at the buildings, which I thought was curious because we've got the pastures here. We've just bought the land. We own it all. There's no icons. So this is our school heating plant. Come out from the heating plant around here. This is where the horse icon's showing. And there's a carpentry there as well, but again, nothing. I've got nothing showing, no icons, no option to open. I think it might just be part of the, the school um, but I think it's odd that they've put icons on the map that you can't access. If we go right throughout the other side from the car park, you come to the sheep one, and the sheep one's the same. I, I, even though I own the land now as well, there's nothing coming up for icons, nothing that give me an option to um, to put sheep in or run it as a farm. So anyway, that's the agricultural school with its own heating plant to keep the students nice and toasty from here. Where was I going from here? Uh, can't remember. Oh yeah. Up to that plot we bought when we bought the little sheep um, pasture earlier on next to our sleep trigger. We're going to head up to the little farm up there. Sheep farm with the Farmer 500 silo right at the top of the map. That's farm number, what's that? Three, four. So just come up and again the buildings will be sold once you're on the land it's turning here so this is the sheep farm to which that that little pasture belongs so sheep here 65 building and barn space and our farmer 500 silo just there but again if you wanted to go to demolish we can remove these buildings if we want you might decide there are too many sheds you don't need as many you might want the space for something else that is entirely up to you so from here back to the map uh, we need to go yep along there and then down this way we've still got a not a fair bit, but we've still got some more to look at. 
and quite a few more passes. We, this might be one of those maps as well where once you own the land, if you don't want the pastures where they are and you want to put different animal pens in or more animal pens, you might have to remove some because there are quite a lot on the map as standard. So you'll be almost, if not up to the limit of the amount of animal pens you can actually have on a map. And this does weave backwards and forwards here. You can cut across the fields if you want to. I'm getting dizzy, I don't know about you. I should have just cut across. So, up to here, once my eye stops spinning. We turn just down here, we do have a gas station to our left hand side, just there. We've got sugar mill to our right hand side, and then we've got another farm plot just here. So we turn in here, farmer 500 silo, Farm and building space. This is another horse um, farm. Back to our map. So we're here. Plot 207. If we purchase that, do that and that. There we go. So we've got a horse barn, which will hold eight. And then we've got a horse pasture, riding area, which will hold ten. But again, if you don't want it to be a horse farm, you can always remove the buildings. If you want to, that's entirely up to you. Yeah, we're going to turn down this one. I think it was down this one. Right, so on our right hand side, just there, we've got a grain mill, another grain mill, and we've got a forklift tucked away just in here. If we come out of there, I think we can go right across actually. Go right across here. Yep, and out the other side and just up here, we've got the Animal Merchant. So your livestock market, Animal Merchant, just there's no sell point in this one, just the Animal Dealer. And then, is it along here with another little pasture? I'm sure it was. Yes, just along here on our left hand side. There you go, there's the troughs. So we came from here, down there, forklift truck grain mill up there to animal dealer this little plot here 139 do that and that for the sheep pasture just there for 175 sheep we do have another little well it's a vehicle shop just a, a look of a vehicle shop it's not actually um, it doesn't have triggers or anything like that on it but a nice another immersive building with some stuff in there to make you feel like you know it's a lived-in area so next to these, um, just checking my notes. Oh yeah, we've got bakery. We've got bakery and a tailor. So, bakery just here. Another fire station just across the road. Always a good idea to have a fire station near a bakery. I know in the town I live in, the, both the fire stations were near the print plants because the print plants used to use chemicals and there was always high risk of fire, so they used to have them there. And then we've got the tailors just tucked up just there by the main road which we're going to cut through to now so yeah, fire station bakery tailors all here and now we're going to head south yep i think i do need to make, need to make a turn at some point but i can't remember where it was i think it might be the next one Like I said, if I miss any pastures, I do apologise. I do that, I do that. We're going to come to another one of those locations that's got um, a thing saying wind farm. And as you can see here on the corner, more troughs. And I wouldn't have found those troughs if I hadn't cut across this field to get to the wind turbine. Or what, where a wind turbine potentially should be. So, if we stop here, come down this road until we got to here come out there across here and down to here this little plot 180 do that 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 and that there we go 
pigs. And then we've got another wind farm plot point just there. Uh, I think the trigger is just along here. It's here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, pigs, 100. I don't think we've encountered a pig pasture before. We have pig pastures, I suppose we do. Out from here, go this way. There you go, there's another wind farm point just there. Then we go out to the main road. And we turn right, head down, we've got the great processing unit just there. Just in case you want to take any adult grape juice to the uh, to the rugby, good place to bring your grapes. So continuing southwest ish, all the way down the hill, another little village. Um. I say little more. That is a ramp, isn't it? So, <laughs> I didn't notice that before. Come hooning down there and hit that. But where are you going to end up? That's terrifying. The sort of thing I used to do when we were kids. Me and my brother would set up little ramps for our bikes and stuff. Anyway. Again, getting sidetracked much. So I left another vehicle shop. So there is a second vehicle shop just here. This is obviously not the reset point. The main one is back there. We have a vehicle shop with a workshop trigger just here. Around the back of here, we've got the carpentry. Just there. We go down here and we've got some more pastures. I'm going to buy, I think there's three along here. If I just turn in where I need to turn in here, again, I'll show you on the map. So we have come down this hill, didn't take a jump into the pond, along there, vehicle shop. Oh, there's a work, uh, there's another forklift truck just there. Carpentry down to here. So we've got this plot here, 179. Do that, 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 and that. Uh, we've got this one here, plot 145, 146. Do that and that. So we've got cows. We've got horses and we've got sheep. Uh, the cows, where are my notes? Cows was 175 for the pasture. Sheep was 75, horses five. So our trigger's just across the way there for that pasture. Horses and sheep in these two just here. And we come up and around and we come to the second biogas plant. This is a smaller one. just here with a wheel loader already here should you wish to use it uh, this one I think is another one where you can buy the land or buy the biogas part that gives you the land so 456,000 do that and that standard biogas plant just there go back to our map you'll see now we own the land there plot 103 what I like as well we've got these little plots here um, little kind of they're not allotments as in there's little you know greenhouses and stuff on them but they are small plots so if you wanted to put greenhouses or there's lots of little garden allotment mods you've got these little plots available which I think is really cool really nice or beehives or something like that if you wanted to from here we're nearly there people we're nearly there like I said there's a lot going on only one more pasture to buy <laughs> So down to this little roundabout here. And we've got the motocross track, which is here. And that winds its way up. Hey, this could be a motocross track. We've got quite a lot of motorbikes in game. Could be a BMX track. We've got a few bikes. Um, but that runs up and around the hillside with a few little jumps and things. So again, if you want to play on here with your friends, multiplayer. If you're looking for a multiplayer server, G Portal's the way to go, people. My Discord server uses them, we use them a lot. Very good, very reliable, very helpful if you have any problems. So if you are looking for a multiplayer server, to play on a map just like this, G Portal might be the way to go. 
There is a link in the description. You get a discount if you use my link. Check them out. Now across the way, we've got this. Now this says dump. Now, on the map, it's another one. It's a curiosity. When you come down to here, so there you go. There's our motocross. Kev Cross motocross track. And we've got this dump. Now it's showing as an exclamation mark. Um, so, and that's part of one of the peripheries. So it's expensive to buy this plot of land. When I come up onto here, um, there is a forklift truck here. And then you've got all these cell icons for various different things. I find that's curious because I've bought the land. There's no triggers have come up. There's nothing showing as triggers. But if you go into the menu for your cell points and we scroll down, you'll see... After a little while, a few come up saying dump. He says, there we go. On that one for eggs, it says dump. We've got dump there for wool. Dump wood chips, silage, wood. So the dump is showing as a sell point, whilst on the map it's showing as an exclamation mark. And, and whilst there are no actual icons for triggers for selling, this is the sell point, the dump sell point. So if you want to bring anything here to the dump, so you've got the environmental one and you've got this one here you can from here back to the roundabout and we should turn right just along here massive placeables there on the right hand side just there there's still part of the pot we're just about to buy if we pull in just here go back to our map so back to the roundabout, along to here, and we've got this plot here. No, not that one. This one. There you go. Plot 16. Purchase that. Do that and that. So we get the big placeables area, and we also get a cow pen. Um, although, that being said, it's a big area, and I think it's just 25 cows. Yeah. 25 cow pen, cow pasture. But it's a nice bit of grass as well. So if you wanted to mow the grass... I don't see any reason why I wouldn't let you mow the grass. All the pastures do have a water point. I don't know if I, I didn't point those out, but you can probably see the icons anyway. And the map itself, I didn't mention that, but lighting's good, texture, palette, colour, palette, it's all, yeah. It works really well. And the map and the map feels absolutely huge. I mean, it, we have done quite a route round, and that's not allowing for the fact you've got all these little trackways that run between all the fields there's nothing to stop you plowing them out and making bigger fields you can if you want to and we didn't go down this bottom section here you've got a large forested area here it's an interesting one it's got not an off-road course but you've got a bridge there and next to the bridge there's two trees fallen but they're fallen kind of embedded into the ground and it looks like you could drive a vehicle over like like an off-road course if you wanted to make it into one so there's that big area but again that's part of one of those fairly expensive sections down there for 1.8 million if you wanted to so we are currently here if we follow this road and wind our way back up to here it brings us back to the main farm and that plot we looked at plot 15 and we can purchase that now actually i've got the money put in there you go so as you can see another cow pasture just there and um that is the map again i apologize if i have missed any pastures if i've missed anything that people feel is highly important to showcase or show i think i've got in all the main features um but that's agricultural land by design farming official i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching